you have a reason to thank God. Just think how much more the blood of Christ will purify our hearts from deeds that lead to death so that we can worship the living God. For by the power of the eternal spirit, Christ offered himself to God as a perfect sacrifice for our sins. So by the spirit, he earned us. Listen to this. That is the blood. So when I say the blood of Jesus, I mean the life of Jesus. I mean the spirit of Jesus. Where was that blood piled? Where was that blood shed? Where? Listen to this. Just think how much more the blood of Christ will purify our hearts from deeds. So the blood was shed where? In our hearts. In our what? Hearts. So the blood that was shed on the cross is a, is a communication of what is taking place spiritually. Praise the Lord. Next verse. Next verse. Are we there? Uh -huh. That is why he is the one who made yes the new covenant between God and people, so that all who are invited can receive the eternal inheritance God has promised them. For Christ died to set them free from the penalty of the sins they had committed under that first covenant. The first covenant was physical. So he's removing it. He's bringing a, a spiritual covenant. That's what the Bible says in Galatians, that those who are led by the Spirit of God are not under the law. Because the Spirit of God is the blood. When is the Next verse. Now when someone dies and leaves a will, no one gets anything until it is proved that the person who wrote the will is dead. Even you, Nikki and Nika, my will, and I'm still alive, it will not be put into effect until I die. When I am dead, God forbid. Hallelujah. When I am dead, I don't get God forbid. When I that shows because we shake you. God forbid means impossible. Is it impossible for man to die? I'm going to talk about the covers. I don't get us on this. And that's why you need to be in charge so that the cover keep us here. To the father, death is a servant of God. See So, bad and kufa will never care what. We 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 the testator until the owner of the will does what? Dies. So when Christ died, that is when the will came into existence. That is when the will comes into existence. Remember, it says, I will not leave you like orphans, I will give you the Holy Spirit. So when he dies, that is now the Spirit released to them. So the Holy Spirit is Christ. Praise you, Jesus. Next verse. You know, you have been in that situation for long. And no. Hallelujah. The will goes into effect only after the death of the person who wrote it. While the person is still alive, no one can use the will to get any of the things promised to them. So the will, the New Testament only began after the death. The burial and the resurrection. Paul says, if Christ did not resurrect, then our preaching is everything revolves. Let me ask you a question. What is the difference between between what is the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament? What is the difference? To fortunately cut here New Testament and Old Testament. Yes, yes, 
like that. He talked about. No, they talk about the same thing. Only that the Old New Testament reveals the Old Testament. But the biggest, there is only one difference. The difference between the Old Testament and New Testament is the cross. Amen. There's no cross in Old Testament. It is the cross because the cross now brings into effect. The Old Testament only talks about the cross, but there is no the cross to bring a new testament in the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So the reason why we are called a spiritual church is because of the cross. <laughs> Next verse. That is why blood was required under the first covenant as a proof of death. As a proof in all covenant the blood. Next verse. For after Moses had given the people all of God's laws, he took the blood of calves and gods along with water and sprinkled both the book of God's laws and all the people using branches of hyssop and bushes and scarlet wool. He spread that blood. He sprinkled the blood to the people. So the way he sprinkled it to the people, next verse, uh -huh. then he said, this blood confirms the covenant God has made with you. Next verse, that is all covenant. Next verse, and in the same way, he sprinkled blood on the sacred tent and on everything used for worship. Are you a worshiper? Are you a worshiper? You must be sprinkled the blood of Jesus. If you are a worshiper, you must be sprinkled the blood of? What is the blood of Jesus? The Spirit. That's why Jesus says, a time is coming, an hour has come, when the worshipers must worship the Father in it. Spirit and truth in the blood, in the Christ. Hallelujah. That's why the worshiper, any worshiper and the tent, the altar, for it to be hard, for it to be sacred, holy, the blood was sprinkled on the worshipers. And when we read Kule Yuma verse, verse and the blood was piled in the hearts of men. Now in the New Testament, it was piled in the hearts of men. Next verse. Meaning that it is not liquid for it to clear the heart. We receive God where? In the heart. In fact, we can say that according to the law of Moses, nearly everything was purified by sprinkling with the blood. Without the blood, the shedding, without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of meaning what? Without the spirit, there is no salvation. So, I will not come here to say ty three types of Christians, canon Christian. If you are canon, you have no spirit, so you are not a Christian. Hallelujah. There has to be one Christian. Spiritual Christian. Spiritual. Somebody, are you spiritual? In fact, we can say that according to the law of Moses, nearly everything was purified by sprinkling with blood. Without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. So why did Jesus come and was crucified? So that he can sprinkle our hearts with the blood called the Spirit. The Spirit. Next verse. That is why the earthly tent and everything in it which were copies of things in heaven. So the earthly tent and everything, including the blood that was sacrificed in the Old Testament, in the Dami Kawaida, they were just what? Copies of things in heaven. So that when you see that blood, it is not that liquid. It's a copy, a typology, a communication. A copy of things in heaven had to be purified by the blood of animals. But the real things in heaven had to be purified with far better sacrifices than the blood of animals. Far better sacrifices. Uh -huh. For Christ has entered, can we read it all together? For Christ has entered into heaven itself to appear now before God as our advocate. The one advocate is the one in the Caesar. Hakuna mwanada mmoja ni in the Caesar duniani hii. In the sensory, it is the ministry of Christ. You can read Hebrews chapter 7, verse, verse 25. You can read Romans chapter 8, verse 26, 27, and 34. You can read, you can read verse Timothy chapter 2, verse 5 and verse 7. You can read and read and read and read. He 
is the one interceding because intercessory. So what we have in church is not intercessors. What we have in church is supplicators. Supplication prayer. That is called supplication. Only Christ intercedes. To the night topic, so don't worry. We shall read all these things. So Christ entered into the reality. Where did he enter to? Heaven itself to appear before God as our advocate. He did not go into the earthly place of worship, for that was merely a copy of the real temple in. What is the real temple? The real temple is what? You. Hallelujah. In heaven, meaning in Christ. The real temple is you. Now listen to this. Listen to this. What is us first? Listen to this. I just want you to listen to that of you. Like to us. I'm afraid of the other camera. Seven the day of our qua law. Like in my china. I'm in a cup of my country. I have to ask a bank. Mika Brani Amuka Spoo is on Saturday. By six, when I want to go to the next Jombo, I'm going to answer. Like in the man, what one I come for when I come around, Hapa, the Kinogo, when I'm going to go to the next Jombo, I'm going to let me tell you something. This kind of learning, you cannot just find it in heaven. You cannot. You better learn. Hallelujah. You better do it. You better learn. Because these are the things that will help you to know. Oh, come on, you want to So to the train. Hallelujah. Listen to this. I'm about to finish part one. But to try to let you on. I'm a casual. Tomorrow we have a service here. So you talk with the Christ entered into heaven itself. Now listen to this. Wakatu maazia kule nyuma nasema kwamba the high priest will go and engage in the holy of holies with what blood. Now when I back up to the mercy seat, zero. The mercy seat will go in a particular kind of happy, the holiest place. Now listen to this. What is the outer court? My body. What is the holy place? My soul. What is the holiest place? What is what is the inner the holiest place now in me? My spirit. So when Christ entered the holiest place, he shed the blood in my heart, and then he went to heaven. That's why in Katika uh, 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 Corinthians 12, and I said, Kwamba, 14 years ago, I know of a man in Christ who ascended to the third heavens. So uh, when he went to the third heavens, he was going to the mercy seat. What was he going to do to the mercy seat? To intercede for them. The word intercession, intercession means pardon. Hallelujah. Pleading for pardon. That now you can forgive them. Because I have shed my blood, my spirit, into their hearts. That's why he says, behold, I'm knocking. I'm at the door knocking. Which door? Your heart. Hallelujah. He's knocking at your heart. That is the door. Pressing Jesus. That is the door. So he's knocking. Who is knocking? The Spirit of God in Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Christ. So, now he has entered into heaven. So when he dies, I die. When he resurrects, I resurrect. He lives, we live together. But listen to this. He did not go into the earthly place of worship, for that was merely a copy of the real temple in heaven. The real temple in heaven. You are the temple of God. How many people are born again here? How many people are not sinners? Hallelujah. So sin cannot take me to hell because he took it from me. And when he took it from me, I cannot see. The Bible says in first, uh, uh, first John chapter 3, verse 8, 9. We can, we, he who is born of God cannot continue sinning because the seed of God is in him. What is the seed? The spirit. Hallelujah. Now, for God so loved the world, no, let me, not, let me use John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the world, and the world was with God, and the world was and the word became flesh. Now, before the word became flesh, what was the word? 
What was the word? The word was spirit. So incarnation means spirit becoming flesh. So the spirit became flesh. When the spirit became flesh, the spirit now received flesh and blood. Hebrews 2.14 since the children have flesh and blood, he also became, the spirit also became flesh and blood. So the blood that he shed at Calvary, there is a spiritual blood that he sprinkled in our hearts. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the blood of Jesus. By the time you are so the blood of Jesus was also shed on the mercy seat. If I have so much logo, Leviticus, Leviticus. I have 15 to minutes to finish. I have 15 minutes to finish. Learn with me chronologically this topic. In the name of Lord Jesus. Leviticus chapter 16, verse 15. 16, 15. out again after making atonement for himself, his family, and all the Israelites. Back to our to move. Hallelujah. Back to our seventeen to answer. Hallelujah. Listen to this. Then he must, then Aaron will go out to make atonement for the altar. No, verse 17. No one else is allowed inside the tabernacle. Inside the tabernacle, nobody else is done much allowed, apart from Aaron alone, when he goes inside the holy place. No one may enter until he comes out again after making atonement for himself. So before he comes out, nobody can go where? In the holiest place. Hallelujah. That is a typology of Christ. Let us focus a little bit on that verse. That is exactly Christ. As long as Christ is not as, as long as Christ is not a uh, this is not has not ascended has not gone to has not has not ended and he is entering by his own means by his life by his blood by his spirit listen to this we want to focus on that verse until he goes to the holy place the holiest place what is the holiest place now for christ heaven before he goes to heaven no man has ever gone to heaven so Christ, the high priest, now our high priest, has to go to heaven so that now he can open everything for the rest of us to what? To go. John 1, 18, he says, no one has ever gone to heaven except the son who came from heaven. So Enoch did not go to heaven. So Elijah did not go to heaven. None of them went to heaven before Christ. Where were they? You will know later where they were. All of them, even Elijah. But now, when Christ dies, I'm in gear, I'm a Listen to this. 
when he came out the bible says makaburi ya watakatifu wote yalifanya nini yalifunguka so hapo jeremiah akafufuka haleluya jeremiah alikuwa mtakatifu lakini hange bado dhambi ilikuwa na nguvu bado he was still whole held in the grave he could not come out elijah nani hao watu wote wa kina Musa all these people they are still held but when he resurrected they were now free they are all resurrected with him and they might with him in the city so they could not go to heaven because he has not yet ascended and they could not remain in the graves bwana Jesus Christ wakao watu wana injili kila kwa duniani watu wanashangaa na watu wamekuwa wengi namna gani watu wamongezeka makaburi ni nini Hallelujah. That's why no one may enter till he comes out again. So when he resurrected, when Jesus came out of the grave, all of us were qualified to enter to the holiest place. To head up to the holiest place. Hallelujah. So right now, pasia ni katika, you can enter the holiest place any time. Don't wait for me to pray for you. You can pray for yourself. Hallelujah. When you say I declare I'm healed, you will be healed. Brother, that does not mean that I will not pray for you. I will pray for you as your spiritual leader. Because that is of effect and you also ought to pray for me. Paul says, pray for us also. We who feed you. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Next verse. Then Aaron will go out to make atonement for the altar that stands before the Lord by smearing some of the blood from the bull and the goat on each of the altar's horns. When you read Psalms 118, the horn means salvation. Hallelujah. Means salvation and power. So, now, madabawe ya nukwe ya mepakwa nini? Dam. Natana kutangaza siku ya leo. Wacha haya madabawe ya kuwe na ronda katifu. Hallelujah. Na wewe pia your spiritual altar will work on and work on and work on. Let it be sprinkled by the blood of God, by the blood of Christ called the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So that you can pray in the Spirit. So that you can understand this word the way I'm understanding it. Hallelujah. So that you can learn and get to a point of understanding what is written here because they are spiritual communication. Praise King Jesus. Next verse. Then he must dip his finger, now that is the praise, he dip fingers into the blood and sprinkle it seven times over the altar. In this way, he will cleanse it from Israel's defilement and return it to its former holiness. So when the priest and the shirk are done with him, and then he sprinkles the blood on the altar and on the people, hallelujah. Now their conscience is made Okay, they are now forgiven. Hallelujah. So Christ on the cross, by means of his fingers, he was crucified. The hands were nailed. Hallelujah. And then he sprinkled our hearts the way to Mesoma Pali, Katika Hebrews 9.14. He bind our hearts with that blood, the spirit, our hearts. So that now the conscience of man can be forgiven. So right now, wakati bado unajishuku mimi ni mtazamo wa mapana you are still in the old covenant you don't understand it hallelujah but for me i'm forgiven so that where was the mercy seat the mercy seat was in the holiest place that is hebrews chapter 9 verse 11 verse 12 13 14 and 24 already to the summer but i'm just giving you the mercy seat was in the holiest place What is our holiest place today? Heaven. Where is the mercy seat? The throne of God. Who is on that throne? The man, Christ Jesus, in the city for us. Pardoning your sins. That is the word in the city. Pardoning for your sins. What is your special? Who was you? Who was you? So I have two questions. I just want 
want to get to that point, that the main part to the level at the beginning. To come back to Kesho, but we are going to learn. Kesho on holiday, we are here. We are going to learn. I wish you were here even on Friday. Hallelujah. My question to you is this: Where was the blood of Jesus shed? Now we have understood the blood. The blood is what is the spirit. So where was the blood shed? Why on the cross it says, Father, into your hands I commit my He gave his spirit. So listen to this. My question is this. Where was the blood of Jesus then shed? The blood was shed in heaven. Immaterial. That is what immaterial. Spiritual realm. Hallelujah. Spiritual what? Realm. In the immaterial. That is just you could talk Hebrews, Hebrews 7, 10 verse 19. Okay, Hebrews 10 19. Hebrews 10 19. Hebrews 10 19. Good. 19 to that's what I get to 22. And so, dear brothers and sisters we can boldly enter heavens most holy place so the most holy place now is what heavens right where the blood was shed hallelujah heaven heaven's most holy place because of the blood of jesus next verse this is the new life-giving way that christ has opened up for us through the sacred curtain by means of his death for us, 21. And since we have a great high priest who rules over God's people, uh -huh, let us go right into the presence of God with true hearts, fully trusting him for our evil consciences, conscience have been sprinkled with Christ blood for our evil conscience have been sprinkled with Christ's blood to make us clean and our bodies has been washed have been washed with pure water what is pure water don't worry we have also been washed with pure water praise the Lord now we are finishing at that point so where was the blood shed heavens in the immaterial where was the blood packed, sprinkled in our hearts? The way high priest katika Levitika 16 I go and sprinkle at the altar na and sprinkle the iyo dam kwaatu. Now Christ, as we have read, he has now sprinkled his blood, the spirit, in our hearts. So the blood of Jesus is the life of Jesus, is the spirit of Jesus. So he says, because I live, you shall live. Because he is a life-giving spirit. Adam was a living being, blood and flesh. That is him, and that is the first Corinthians chapter 15. The first man was a living being, ish. The second man, Christ, a life-giving spirit. What is our special? For our evil consciences have been sprinkled with Christ's blood to make us clean, and our bodies have been washed with pure water. What is pure water? Baptism. Pure water. Baptism. But now he goes beyond also pure water baptism. The same same pure water he is the spirit. The same same pure water is what? The spirit. I want to finish with that. The Marizia Twapo for now. We shall begin from there in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's a lot of things to learn in the name of our Lord Jesus. Well, come on, Ukopali, where will you move? 